Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Cinema Roblox. Here are seven scams you should be aware of in Roblox Adopt Me. Number seven, misconception scam. For this scam, people will combine the no using trade or trust trade scams in a new one. In this one, people will pretend to notice someone's good pet and give X item for it like NFR Uni for a legendary blue dragon. It could be hard to tell the difference between it and a real blue dragon due to the handle color. For new players that have good stuff, they will not realize that blue dragons do not exist. They are also usually don't use a trading system either. When someone trades with a scammer, they will say that they gave them something fake and looks like or has a similar name as it. Laugh and leave the server. People also do this with griffins and griffin propellers, with donuts and donut cycles, or anything with the same word but trash item. Number six, misconception pet slash item scam. This scam is very similar to the misconception scam and trick item scams, but the scammer tricks the victim into trading their best pets and is mainly a distraction based scam. There are two variations of the scam, with the first being misconception pet scam. A scammer takes out a dingo and names it Shiba Inu, then writes in chat trading Shiba Inu. The victim offers something good for the Shiba Inu, and then after the trade, the scammer leaves the server, and the victim realizes it was a dingo. The scam is very common because dingoes look like Shiba Inus. The difference between the two pets is that the dingo is uncommon whilst the Shiba Inu is ultra rare. The second variation is misconception item scam. For this, the scammer makes their kangaroo name invisible and rides it. Then when the scammer gets a trade, they put in a kangaroo pogo and the scammer will say that the R icon on the pet is not showing up. When they accept, the scammer logs out with the victim's pets and the victim realizes it was all a scam. You go. Okay, that's not good. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my gosh. Number five, emoji slash invisible name scam. This scam is very similar to the fancy font scam. Someone will show a pet with an invisible name or with cool emojis and say that they will make your pet have those if you give it to them. If you give them a trash pet, they will give it back, but if you give them a legendary, they will leave the server. To avoid this, just search up a tutorial or use a copy and paste the emoji website. So bad. Like, what was that? Anyway, should update, okay? So if we look over there, not over there, I mean, uh... Number four, I can make your pet X color if you give it to me. This scam is commonly demonstrated in YouTube videos. The scammer will claim that they can make your pet a certain color. If you give it to them, then the victim might ask for proof. Then the scammer takes out a non-golden pet with a golden counterpart, a potion, feeds it to the pet, and switches it to a golden pet right when it's done eating. So it looks like the pet transformed into a golden one. The victim will believe them and trade their pet to them, and the scammer will leave the server with your cherished pet. The easy way to detect this is to see if the pet names are different between the two pets or the aging levels. Number three, super rare pet from item. This scam is where a scammer will trick another player into thinking a worthless item will give you a super rare pet or item if you eat or use it. The player will trade a very good pet for it thinking it's a good trade. When the trade is complete, the scammer will leave the game and the player will realize that it was all a scam. Number two, can I borrow X to try? In this type of scam, the scammer will approach someone with either a special new vehicle, a different vehicle, or someone with a flying riding legendary pet and ask them, can I try X, I'll give it back. As the second statement usually seems convincing, the person with the item will often willingly trade it under the assumption that the person will give it back, which is usually their first mistake. The scammer will try for a bit as they requested and then the fool person into believing they give it back by sending a trade request and putting the borrowed item in the trade window. Then they will leave the server as doing this will automatically decline the trade. An easy way to detect this is to think why would YouTubers ask to borrow people's items? Number one, I'm quitting Roblox, adopt me, so I'm giving away my X for free. In this scam, the scammer will say loudly in the chat something like, I'm quitting Adopt Me, so I'm giving my ex, a usually good pet, away. Usually, multiple players will respond, and that is when the scammer will say something like, let's do a color challenge. Whoever gives me the best pet of that color gets the ex. Then, after the players give the scammer a good pet, the scammer will leave the game, and the victims will realize it was all a lie. So this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.